and yet another surprise album drop to talk about. It has been wild this week. It is now Drake who has released his seventh album called Honestly, Never Mind. That all dropped at midnight last night. There's a part in this video where there's the wedding reception and the band performing at the wedding reception is if you know the classic all-time legendary movie, Old School, is the band, the Dan Band from <laughs> Old School and they sing a Total Eclipse of the Heart, but they add a few choice words Yeah. In there. And Will Ferrell does that classic thing in the movie where he hears that he's the groom and he's like, oh. And it's the funniest, it's so funny. Anyway, I, I'm sorry, I apologize to all morality and women and feminism and whatever, but it made me laugh. A lot of this made me laugh and maybe that's the problem. I am the problem. I am a no, problem. No, not problem. At all. I don't think not you're a problem. I think that there's a vibe I going do. on there. <laughs> Do you think no. it's just a problem? No, 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 I get it. But why is Tristan Thompson there? Okay, because well, that's part of the joke, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think it's part Does I he think know he's part of the joke? Well, that's a really good question. Mm. To me, I mean, not to get deeper, because you were saying feminism, yada, yada, yada. I took this as Drake making a major commentary about monogamy, making a commentary about the institution of marriage. And why is Tristan Thompson there? Because we know Tristan, well, I know him for three things. Canada <laughs> boy. Shout out Brampton. Number two, basketball star. And number three, baby daddy to Chloe's daughter, but famously cheated. So you start the video with Tristan Thompson as the best as man. Best man. You're saying something about monogamy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought that, that was my first thought. I was like, is Drake coming out as polyamorous? Because if he is, <laughs> oh, did he need to come out? Like, he I don't know, know but I was just like, I thought guy. this is a statement to be like, I'm going to just never, ever, I'm just going to have like multiple women. And in which case I thought, oh, that's interesting. I don't think that's probably what he's saying. And I understand that the rest of the album is quite um, sad. Like there's a lot of songs where he's in his feelings again. Always. People are surmising that there's been a, another bad breakup. I can't help but think like there was a major birth this year um, from Rihanna gave birth. Like I, I always still oh, am I thinking like, like are you <laughs> what? sad about oh, this? Yeah, Did he have another baby? Mm. No, no, no. Is there some sadness there? All I know is that as a relationship expert, I would love to sit down with him and just unpack. I'm here for you, Drake. Like, I really, <laughs> really. I, oh, I, do. I think there are layers and layers of, of those were all Instagram like, influencers, right? Sure Every were. single one yes. of them. There's a whole long three minute section at the end where he gives his, their handles and whatever. Yes. I mean, we all have heard the stories and whatever. I just feel like there's a real deep and interesting person there. I adore his music. I just wonder if the path he's going down, unless it is, um, very, very intentional. And again, I'm polyamorous and I'm out. If he's looking for long-term love, I'm here to help. Well, okay. like, but the thing is, is that Certified Lover Boy's album cover was like 12 pregnant, pregnant women. women. Yeah. So uh, I, I don't know that this is news. He's like he has never yes. been, yeah. Rihanna's the closest person who's been official with Drake. Yeah, and he's yeah, still yeah. writing mostly sad music. Yeah. I'm what just going to say that. Well, but think? this album, though, is, I mean, I understand the sentiment of the sadness, but people are saying, wait a second, this is on the dance chart. Like, it, mm -hmm. it came out in a different category for Drake in general. So I, I looked at it. I mean, the music video was one thing, OK? <laughs> <laughs> the album, though, and the way he dropped the album, I feel like that's a whole other thing, which we could, you know, get into. Because the timing of it, did we not just talk about Beyonce yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. yesterday. And he's like, okay, bae, today. You know, I don't <laughs> know. Let me get out of the way. You, uh, maybe. He gives, maybe. Himself, he gives himself six weeks yeah. Yeah. Of, charting of charting before Beyonce completely squashes everything. She sent out the warning and he responded. And he responded. And I will say this. It's Friday. We have Friday vibes on this show. If you like his song Passion Fruit, uh -huh. if you like that dance bar, like Scarborough Basement Party vibe. Yeah. And one dance. And, and like one dance. Controller, that's your vibe, all of that. Yeah. This album is your Friday, yes. Saturday, Sunday vibe. I just want to say, go listen. It's to actually okay, music to sex too. Ooh. So, uh, well, ooh. I was thinking of a cocktail like I, on a patio, but sure. Yeah. Okay, from sex to etiquette. We're going to move <laughs> on. Uh, with this question, a woman uh, posted on Reddit that her date offered to buy her drinks, saying that he'd landed a high paying job and could afford it. <laughs> Later, when he found out that she makes just as much money as him, he got mad. Who's in the wrong here? Well, I mean, I remember being on dates like this where the guy literally would just talk to me and tell me all about himself, rattle off his CV yeah, and never ask you. Yeah, right? Yeah. Never asked mm -hmm. me a single question. And it became kind of entertaining. So like, I wonder when he's gonna ask a single question. <laughs> and in that way, I feel like she kind of played this just right. Yes. I'm just like, cause he, she apparently was saying like, I can pay for this. And he was insistent that she couldn't. Um, 
But not only did he say, not only did he say, no, no, I got this. <laughs> my developer engineer yeah. salary can pay for yes. all of these. Oh, please, sit but down. I, I thought of you because just last week we were out at a bar, yes. and I haven't been out in a million years, so I was just sort of people watching, and there were a lot of very young women who were at the bar, and the drinks there were not cheap. No. And I thought to myself, if I remember being that age, I would not have been able to afford it. And I said it out loud, and you said what? I mean, <laughs> let's just, let me preface this by saying the women were of a certain age, much younger than me, um, and the men were of a certain age, which was maybe much older than them. Yeah. And I said, they're gonna get free drinks. Okay. The whole night. These guys will probably pay for all those drinks. And you said that, so, I, I mean, I'm sorry if I'm spilling your tea for you, but, but basically in your 20s, that was kind of, you didn't really pay for drinks. Uh, that's a, a quote? I didn't, but I'm gonna also tell you something. The men were also throwing drinks. It was a way to also lure What happened to the Frank Grello-ism, no gift is for free, in that context? I mean, I kind of just, just blended back into the group <laughs> and... I just wanted to, you know, do some research. Did you ever feel like, I never, I never trusted that dynamic. Like, I, I, if I, some, I don't I, trust again, it. Again, I'm gonna back Mel up. In your 20s, you're dumber than you are yes. now. And yes. the thing is, again, we're not making that much money. So when we're going out on a Friday night, we are hoping some guys will buy us drinks. I don't think that that is like, you know, and. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I wouldn't do it today. Would I do it today? No. No, 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 this was the culture at the time. And maybe it is actually different today. I, you know, the younger ladies out there can let me know, but back then it's kind of what you did. And that's why they have ladies nights at clubs because they actually hope the men will come and the men are the ones buying the bottles to say ladies come. I don't know if that's the way it is today. It Isn't just it was. When did so today become the day I like, set back yeah, feminism? I don't know, yeah. it's just it's, both topics. It's so pre assumptive and gendered and it just feels archaic. Like yeah, I just feel too. like this guy is so behind the times, completely understanding the way it was. But he he didn't go out on the date 20 years ago. He went on the date last yeah. week. So it's like, <laughs> this is not cool. And if he's gonna blah, blah, blab about his big job, of course she's gonna sit back oh, and like- Although they're okay, so yes. yeah, Can I, I say this? Yeah. If, okay, we can argue on his behalf, we can argue on her behalf. But to me, I think most of the blame like is on the people who set them up. They went was out. It, was with, it really a setup? It think? was. It was a board game night. Yeah. And the two people are a couple, and they're like, "Let me invite my single friend Joe and my single friend Jane, and we're all going to play board games together." The etiquette thing here that comes in is when you're a host, you say, "Hey, Jane, Joe's coming, and here's a something about Joe." Right. And here's how we know Joe, and yep. this is what Joe does. Hey, Joe, Jane's coming, and this and that and the other. And now these two people are mad at the the girl when you, they were bad hosts. So be a better host. Can no, we say that? I still blame the guy. <laughs> I, 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 I still with you. blame that guy. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. feel like oh, the biggest thing here that I thought was hilarious is that at the end of the night, somehow he looked her up on Facebook, like that's still a thing you do, and saw that he was she was a software engineer as well. So she Facebook flexed, which I didn't think was possible <laughs> in 2022. So congrats to her. Oh my gosh, we can't believe we're just getting started. <laughs>